how, but it's it's like having the most amazing tutor over your shoulder all day long. Do you subscribe to sort of the idea that it takes a great engineer to use these tools? Because one of the theories that I've heard as we continue to set the stage here is that um, this idea of it, a bad engineer will get bad answers from AI and introduce bad code and a great engineer will get great answers from AI and introduce great code. Help, help me understand where you fall on that. Yeah, I, I think that is absolutely my, my opinion. Um, you know, you can't take someone that has no coding experience or very little coding experience, equip them with a large language model and expect them to be, you know, a senior developer. That's just not realistic. What I do think that you will see, and, and I think in a lot of cases you are seeing with um, AI more within IDEs, so on the software development side, uh, a number of the, at least in my world, which is more kind of data focused, um, a number of the platforms that we use for uh, doing data manipulations, you know, they have autocomplete, you know, AI based autocomplete. So as you're as you're working through data transforms or, you know, uh, generating embeddings or something like it's extremely good at predicting what you're attempting to do. And it's a 15, 20 percent time savings. Like, yes, I could have typed the whole thing, but if it's going to type it for me and 98 percent of the time, it's correct. Like that gives me back time on my day to be able to do more. Um, but 100 percent like these are these are not silver bullets that, that you can just uh, give to someone, say, like, hey, make me an application that's going to do this uh, and get an answer that is um, going to be correct or is going to be performant. I think that's the other big area where there's, um, you know, some struggles and like, will it give you an answer that will solve the problem? Likely, yes. Will it give you an answer that will solve the problem for your 50,000 users that are hitting your website? Probably not, right? So that's that's where I think the the, the skill set of you know senior and principal developers come in. Um, that optimization, that efficiency that you need to do if you're doing things at scale. Um, so perfect, yeah.